Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Wrath of the Righteous with me, Break It Down. Let's level up. Level 15 Paladin, we get another Mercy. Athletics, Perception, and Persuasion. And Shatter Defenses. Your skill with your chosen weapon leaves opponents unable to defend themselves if you strike them when their defenses are already compromised. Benefit. Any shaken or frightened opponent hit by you this round is flat-footed to your attacks until the end of your next turn. This includes any additional attacks you make this round. So that just removes... Or being flat-footed removes dexterity to armor class, so it should make enemies easier to hit. And exhausted. Isila. Level 10 Paladin, gets an additional use of Smite Evil. Trickery, Knowledge World, and Perception. I'm not sure what to go. I guess Great Fortitude. Get a plus two bonus on all Fortitude saving throws, and then we'll just grab... Uh, it's Sister Feats for Reflex and Will. My Obrey gets a Feat. Athletics, Mobility, Lower Nature, and Perception. Oh, low religion. He already has lunge, right? Powerful Shape might work. Then it should also work with Shattered Defenses on my pal. No, it's only if he staggers them, I think. They, they nerfed Shattered Defenses at some point. Might as well do Improved Initiative, though. Your quick reflexes allow you to react rapidly to danger. You get a plus four bonus on initiative checks. Let's allow him to get to the back line a little faster. My Wolgif, Sword Saint. Get Superior Reflexes. At 11th level, a Sword Saint can make a number of attacks of opportunity in a round equal to his Intelligence modifier, minimum 1. This effect stacks with the Combat Reflexes feat. Oh shoot, I might grab Combat Reflexes too. A trickery, Stealth, Knowledge Arcana, Perception, and Use Magic Device, which i probably too late to start investing in that, but sure. A greater weapon focus, the Bardish, or Bardichi. Uh, spell Penetration. Grab that. Let's do Arcana Theft. It's another melee touch attack. Which is kind of his whole shtick. And I guess we could do Ice Storm. None of those really stand out to me. Our Socio also gets a feat. Lower Religion, Perception, and Lower Nature. Let's do Destructive Dispel.
Or a greater dispel focus. Let's grab this instead. So you master you are a master of the art of dispelling. Benefit. Whenever you attempt to dispel a dispel check, based on your caster level, you get a plus two bonus to the check. This stacks the bonus from dispel focus. And land, Sable Company Marine gets Feathered Confusion. At 12th level, a Sable Company Marine trains his Hippogriff to use its wings for more than just flying. The Hippogriff's wings grant it a plus 3 dodge bonus to armor class against melee attacks. While mounted, Sable Company Marine receives this bonus as well. The Hippogriff's enemies treat a 5 foot area around the Hippogriff as difficult terrain. This free armor class. I mean against melee enemies specifically, but still. And clustered shots. You take a moment to carefully aim your shots, causing them all to strike nearly the same spot. Benefit. When you use a full attack to make multiple ranged weapon attacks against the same opponent, total the damage from all hits before applying that opponent's damage reduction. Alright, in Sunshine you can say Feet and Improved Evasion. This ability works like evasion, except that while the character still takes no damage on a successful reflex saving throw against attacks, he henceforth takes only half damage on a failed save. A helpless character does not gain the benefit of improved evasion. Mobility and Perception. And I guess... Let's do toughness. He is, he is tanking for land. So you gain plus three hit points. For every hit die you possess beyond three, you gain an additional plus one hit point. If you have more than three hit dice, you gain plus one hit points whenever you gain a hit die, such as when you gain a level. That just makes him a little tankier. Alright, let's slot our spells before I forget. Holy Aura is really good, as is Legendary Proportions. Angelic Aspect Greater is really good. Powerful Aspect is also really good. Yeah, level 8 spells are right. I think clerics really start to take off. Like level 4, when you start getting the really important buffs like Death Ward and Freedom of Movement. A like greater magic weapon and then level eight uh, spells. That's the good stuff. I'm gone. I guess we go back out this way. Meditator has mistakes. suffered enough. He might make you feel better. It's not mounted. Cover me, all right.
You've crossed the wrong you fall here. I swear it. Alright, hold the line, Bismuth. Fall! I will bring down the divine wrath! Zap you or zap you? Why not both? Can't you just die already? The electricity driven machines seem designed for blacksmithing and producing items. Components for 100 faces circlet. A heap of mysterious mechanical parts using the creation of mind controlling circlets. Follow if you dare. I need fuel for the flaming lockpick. Got some. Let's go back and open that door. I, I do found. what I must. This should be the uh, Doom Slayer helmet. Or, sorry, helmet of the Abyss Killer. According to legend, the summit belonged to a mighty warrior who was doomed to endlessly slay hordes of demons. It doesn't seem to have any magic, but it looks formidable. The crates numbered with numerian symbols are arranged with compulsive precision. Only writings about Ayamade's mortal life and her acts. The pages are decayed, the text now unreadable. It is unknown how this holy book ended up in a place like this. I'm gone. I am never wrong. Always be ready for the worst. Thanks, Lan. You're so awesome, Lan. What at first appears to be a patch of rust is revealed upon closer inspection, to be an old bloodstain spread across the wide drain. The corpse's mutilated head shows that an attempt was made to place a circlet on the victim's head, but they did not survive the agonizing operation. The anatomical drawing, replete with stomach-turning details, sets out how to crown a victim with a sinister barbed circlet. The corpse under this sheet is one of the defenders of this place. The mechanical parts have been roughly ripped out and the flesh discarded like carrion. This is my kind of work. Good job, Wolgif. He doesn't have that high of his magic device. Uh, this machine is used for healing and provides a healer with information about the patient's current condition. We do it my way. Atharavans. A warrior in a crusader's tabard rocks back and forth in a meditative trance. Her mangled head is adorned with the same type of sinister looking circlet you've seen on the other guards. But she issues no menacing demands to, for you to surrender to Hundred Face's mercy. Instead, she quietly whispers, I am a day. I bolted my spirit before my death. Hey, are you alive? The warrior starts, as if waking up from a deep slumber. She stares at you in surprise. You're... You're not one of Hundred Faces' servants. You don't have one of those accursed circlets. Praise Iamade. I prayed someone would come and help me. Please, end my suffering. There's a mixture of pain and relief in her eyes. We'll help you, sister. You're not alone anymore. A sister in faith. Oh, praise the goddess. I'd abandon all hope of ever seeing a friendly face again. What's your name? Athara Vons, corporal in the Mendevian army. Our squad was lured in, or sorry, to this place. We're on forward patrol when we met a man. He told us that a group of slaves had escaped from the demons and taken shelter in this camp. He said they had many wounded who needed help. Once we entered the camp, we had no way of leaving. Where are your comrades? They have all fallen. When we realized we were trapped, we tried to fight our way to the heart of this compound. But we stumbled upon some magical device that seems to incinerate mines. We had to stop and take up defensive positions nearby. 
We're holed up there for two days, while our wizard tried to find a way past it. But those abominations came and picked us off one by one. They deliberately avoided killing us. They just wounded us enough to cripple us. Then later, the ones they'd taken came back, but their heads cracked open. She shudders. They didn't recognize us. They carried out someone else's will, shouted someone else's words. But the voices... They're the voices of my friends. When I alone was left, and they came for me, I just couldn't. I couldn't end their lives. Darn coward. I just couldn't bring myself to do it. And they made me... into this. What did they do to you? They cut open my skull and shoved this thing into my head to control me. And then... Oh, those sadists know every flavor of pain. They tore me open and shoved their vile machines into my body. Then sewed me up just to start tearing at another spot. They sealed my wounds shut. Poured some potions into my veins that made my insides burn. And all the while, I could hear him. That voice. That disgusting voice. Her hysterical scream becomes a desperate, forlorn howl. Through immense force of will, she pulls herself together and starts whispering a prayer to Amade. Her breathing slows, and some semblance of calm reappears on her face. They close in on you. Do not let them take you prisoner. Kill yourself and do it so there's nothing left behind for them to use. She casts a look of pure hatred at the machine nearby. There it is, their altar of torment, the thing that maimed me. Now the master of these monsters sends me orders through psionics. My body keeps trying to obey. These circlets are his reins. I wanted to enter his lair and kill him, but the closer I got to him, the harder it was for me to fight against his voice ringing in my ears. If you're still in control, why haven't you ended your life yourself? I've tried. I've tried so many times. But each time I was about to end it all, I felt fear. And fear weakens the will. So the voice in my head sounded even louder, even stronger. I could feel myself slipping away. I worried that if I tried to inch the blade closer to my throat, he'd bind me to his will forever. So all I could do is wait. How did you manage to resist being possessed? She lets out a pain chuckle. It's not easy. His voice enters your mind, and to defy his commands is torture. But I'm a medium. I'm used to hearing voices in my head. They almost drove me mad as a kid, until I learned to quiet them. That's why I joined the Crusaders when I grew up. I prayed to Ayamade for help, as she blessed me with the fortitude I needed. That's why I'm fighting, and I'll keep fighting that scumbag for as long as I can. He's breaking me bit by bit. But I'll stay strong. Because as soon as I give up, I... I... Oh, Ayamade, please no. Her eyes widen in fear. And a spark of lightning... And a spark of light... Should be lightning, right? Not lighting. Arcs along the spikes of her circlet. A tear runs down her cheek. I don't want to lose myself. It's terrifying. Gods, it's so terrifying. The warrior barely manages to fight back a sob. But now you've come, and that means I haven't been holding on in vain. There, in that pile of clutter, and the relics our squad carried. I was the last, and the others haven't seen the cash, so they couldn't report it to the enemy. Take them. Take them all. Relics blessed by Am blessed by Amade must never fall into the hands of these monsters. I'll help you. Thank you, but I cannot be saved. I no longer want to live with this abomination in my head. But I cannot get rid of it. It will fry me from the inside if I try to take it off. There is only one way out. To end it all. The voice of my ears had quieted down for even... Down even for a second. I would have done it all myself. So help me. Do it all quickly and cleanly. Grant the warrior a merciful death. May Iamade watch over your soul. Thank you. I don't want to hear... Him... In my head any longer. What's that there? The contraption before you looks truly sinister, like the entrails of some sort of sea creature. A glinting tangle of ebony tubes connects to a capacious vessel. The bindings, splattered with blackened blood, must serve to hold helpless victims. You notice a piece of scalp stuck between the teeth of this serrated saw. 
The shiny and impossibly sharp drill is sickening to look at. It's like the machine is sleeping. But ready at any moment to awaken, it recommends torturing and dissecting living flesh. Examine the mechanism. It appears that this machine is what performed the highness or heinous, and is figuring procedures on the guards that have turned them into puppets. A separate compartment of the machine holds an orderly stack of the nefarious circlets, the metal spikes gleaming. Examine the circlets. Numerous crystal plates, all no thicker than a hair, cover the inside of each circlet's rim. These plates overlap in an intricate pattern and are connected by a web of grayish metal fibers. Small spheres in a, of a cloudy stone that resembles smoky quartz rest against the temples. It's possible that these are what the mysterious master uses to deliver commands to his slaves. Try to get a sense of how the circlets work. Carefully touching the crystal plates, you analyze the circlet's reactions. Some touches make the circlet vibrate quietly, while others cause tiny storms of lightning to run along the spikes. Even though this contraption was created by adepts of a magic that you're completely unfamiliar with, you're nonetheless certain that it is magical. Basing your assumptions on your knowledge of primary arcane principles, you're able to guess the access keys to some of the simplest, least sophisticated functions and activate the circlet. It seems that this item was crafted through the use of psionic magic. The crowd can heighten one's sensitivity to such influences, but it could instead be made to protect the wearer from psionics. We can't do that yet. We don't have all the items. Follow if you dare. So the hunt continues. Yes, yeah, so we have to disable this. Go back this way, we're able to open the other locked door. Like this, it scans you. Pretty good, aren't I? Man, Wolf is knocking it out of the park. After pressing the button a couple of times, a message flashes on the device screen, Sonic Shielding Tools, Storeroom 1. Further attempts yield nothing more. I'm off! Into the fray! Hey. Right, hundred faces circlet. A mechanical circlet that turns mortals into obedient servants of the sinister hundred face. This device has not yet crowned anyone's head. Has not been activated. Alright, and Stormlords Resolve. These are pretty good. A set of embraces of Eliosos design, which when worn sent a faint crackle of energy across the metal surface. The smell of salt water and ozone assaults your senses. For some reason, you feel nostalgic for some distant shores, but eventually the feeling fades. As the enchantment fully activates. If the wearer of these bracers has the ability to cast spells spontaneously, it grants them the ability to cast the following spells. Jolting Portent, Call Lightning, Lightning Bolt, Chains of Light, which isn't really a lightning spell? Uh, call Lightning Storm, Chain Lightning, and Storm Bolts. I guess there's not another lightning-based spell for uh, that level spell. Uh, to cast a spell, the wearer needs to have a spell slot of the required level. It also grants the wearer an electric shield that deals 1d6 plus wearer's level electric damage each time an enemy lands a hit against the wearer, as well as electricity resistance 30. Surprise is not just melee attacks against the wearer. Uh, the wearer can fully embrace the power of these bracers, allowing them to turn all the damage caused by the spells they cast into electrical, which is obviously pretty good for this area. The crates are full of gleaming components covered in foul-smelling dark oil. Ring of Devastating Will. This ring of protection plus three grants the wearer an ability to avoid magical and unusual attacks with great willpower. The character makes a successful will saving throw against an attack that normally deals half damage on a successful save. Instead, they take no damage. 
Helpless creature does not gain this benefit. So this is evasion, but for uh, wisdom pace based uh, characters. So this will benefit Socio greatly. And it's plus one to his uh, armor class. So that's really good. Distract them for me. Can we I do what I must. The crate's numbered with numerian symbols arranged with compulsive precision. We've seen that description before. So now we should have everything we need to craft. It's time that circle. to act. And once we do that, there's two doors we should be able to enter. I guess we'll be protected against the sonic force, and then we can, of course, cross that bridge. That's where the boss fight lies. The repulsive machine built to maim mortals is still. With the help of the tools available to you, convert the crown into a protective circlet. Whoops. Well, that sucks. He's on such a roll, too. With one clumsy motion, you cause several crystal plates to fracture at once. The shards cut your hands like razors. The circlets must have been made this way for a reason. It seems that any attempt to modify them leads to their immediate destruction. You just keep trying, so there you go. Uh, first and foremost, you break off the sharp spikes. Then you tear the drill out of the monstrous machine's fastening. You wield the drill, methodically punching holes in the circlet and hoping that your calculations are correct. By destroying just a few specific parts of this contraption, you can render it completely harmless. At last, your work is complete. You've turned the horrible device into something resembling a helmet that can be worn atop a head. An intact head that hasn't come into contact with a saw. This headgear will keep the wearer safe from even the strongest sonic attacks. Yep, Helm of Sonic Protection. This item was once one of the Grim Circlets controlling the thoughts of Hundred Faces' mutilated slaves. It has since been remade into a helmet that shows the wearer from Sonic influence. And with that, we can head back to some of these doors. Wherever they're at. Oh, that's the exit. Here's one. I'll take care of it. I'm always ready. All right, I'm actually going to call it here, and next time we'll explore the two doors that we couldn't get through before. Before we approach Hundred Face himself, and of course, before we do that, we'll rest up and buff up again. Just to be safe. But either way for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.